What's going on guys, Billy here, and today I've just got to talk about the Autel Evo. Now, I've tried to stay as far away as possible from all of the rumors surrounding this drone as I feel like everyone has beaten it to death, but today I want to talk about some of my feelings towards the drone. Now, this is going to be a little bit more of a rant style of video. If you guys aren't into that, I've got plenty of other videos over on my channel you can check out, but next week we'll be keeping up with the regular uploads, so don't worry. Now look, I'm no marketing genius and I'm certainly no business expert, but I can say that the release of the Alta Levo has been handled as poorly as it possibly could have been. It's sort of like what we're going through with Apple right now and some of their recent products. Uh, for example, the HomePod took forever to hit the shelves and also AirPower. We're still waiting on that, that wireless charging pad. They said it's going to release sometime in 2018. That is like one of the biggest release gaps I've ever heard. Um, now, this just goes to show you that the difference in company size between Autel and Apple is like incredibly huge, but both of these companies can have problems getting products out. I feel that when a company comes and shows off a product or announces a product, they should always bring a hard release date or at least something to shoot for because I know that setbacks can occur. But when a company just says that this product is coming soon, it sort of leaves me discouraged. I put it in the back of my mind and I really don't look forward to it. I mean, think about it. If a company says that this product is coming soon, you're kind of like, all right, I'll look out for it. But if they say this product is coming on July 1st, you're like, all right, boom, July 1st, that's when it comes out. I'm going to try to save up my money so that once it hits July 1st, I'll have enough to spend. I mean, honestly, it just makes sense. Really quickly, here are two examples of great product releases. First of all is the DJI Mavic Air. We had an announcement event on January 23rd, and you could pre-order the drone right away, right then and there, right after the drone was announced. And then five days later, the product started shipping. And if you were lucky enough, you probably got it within that first week if you were like one of the first people to pre-order the drone. Now, I know that Altel is not as big as DJI. They don't have the manpower. They don't have the resources. But if we look at Parrot, they just released their Anafi drone, which was available for pre-order right away and would begin shipping on July 2nd. See, that's what we need hard dates for product releases. Just as a little timeline, I first got my hands on this drone at CES back in early January, which was about six months ago. This is where they first announced the drone, and Altel honestly had a pretty sweet setup. They had a ton of Evos on display to check out, they had friendly staff, and they even had the Evo flying basically all day in their drone cage. They hyped this drone up like it was going to release within the month, but now here we are, about a half a year later, still wondering when the actual release date is going to be. While I was at CES, I tried to get a bunch of hands-on footage of the Altel Evo, and one of their staff members approached me, he was very friendly, asked if I had any questions, and then he asked who I was filming for and kind of what I was doing. I told him I was my own guy, I had a YouTube channel kind of focused on drones, and he said, alright, let me give you my card, maybe we can hook you up with a review unit. I said, awesome, that would be great. So once the event was done, once CES was over, I sent him a follow-up email just to kind of catch up, say it was nice talking to you, blah, 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 and I'm going to withhold his name, I won't say anything, but he never responded. So then, about two months ago, probably around April, I sent him another email following up, just saying, hey, uh, did you get my last email? I'd love to kind of have an update on the Evo. A lot of people are waiting, and if so, if you need any help from me, you know, I could promote it, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And he didn't even respond to that. Now, I'm not mad that I didn't get a review unit. Of course, it would have been nice to have it early, get some videos out for you guys, but it just rubbed me the wrong way that he totally blew me off. On this topic of lack of communication, the social media accounts for Auto Robotics are barely worth a follow. They never post any updates. In fact, they never really post at all. So I took to Twitter and I actually pointed out this tweet in particular back from February where they're teasing the price and also teasing some of the specs. And here we are in June, still wondering where the Evo is. If we take another look through Altel's Twitter account, you'll see that they invited Mike Titan O'Hearn out to test the Evo. And I couldn't tell you who that is or what he has to do with drones. He certainly is not a photographer or a videographer. He seems to be a bodybuilder. The dude is pretty big. And he also has a decent social media following on Twitter, about 70,000 followers. So I don't know what the goal was there, maybe to reach different markets, kind of show off their drone, get some publicity. Again, I really don't know, but I think that what DJI did with the Mavic Air was perfect. They sent out some Mavic Airs early to certain influencers, online influencers, that are sort of in the technology realm. Whether they're into drones totally, whether they're just into technology, they did it perfectly and were able to pretty much spread the Mavic Air across YouTube for an entire day. I mean, honestly, the entire day that the Mavic Air came out, all I saw on my Twitter feed, on my YouTube feed, and everything was just Mavic Air. They did a really good job at marketing that thing. So, after seeing Altel tweet about Mike getting the opportunity to check out the Evo, I figured I'd shoot my shot and tweet at Altel. I said, hey Altel, if Ken Dono and I fly to your headquarters, can we fly the Evo? And to my surprise, they responded. They sent me a Twitter DM saying, hey, if this is a serious inquiry, shoot us an email. And it was serious. I wanted to check it out. 
So I sent him an email kind of discussing some of the different specifics, etc., etc., and I got no response. So as you guys can probably tell by now, Altel is definitely not good at communicating with their consumers, which in my opinion is one of the most important things. Their social media is very mediocre, they barely post any updates whatsoever, and compared to something like the DJI Instagram account or the Twitter account, they're posting a couple times a day, four or five times a day, to keep their consumers engaged. Also, I tried to reach out to them by myself, uh, just me, three times, and I got curved every single time. Again, it just leaves this sour taste in my mouth. Now in terms of when this drone is actually going to release, I've got no idea. A lot of rumors have been swirling around. I heard June 1st, but June 1st has come and gone. It just turns into weeks and weeks and weeks and then it's months and now we're here still waiting. I really have no idea if it's an issue with their app. I've got no idea if it's an issue with production. I mean, hell, this drone could still come out the day after I post this video and I'd still be a little bit angry. You know, you're probably sitting there just thinking I'm mad because I didn't get a review unit early, but that's not even close. This drone is such a beast. It has such great potential, but the only thing holding it back is this really crappy release. I mean, there is so much going wrong from dealers leaking information to winners from CES, like giveaway winners, getting their Evo early with no apps to fly. I mean, across the board, it is just a total mess. I would say the real reason why I'm upset is because this is some of the only competition that DJI has. Now while I still think that DJI drones are far superior than Altel drones, it always helps to have someone on your heels to make you better. For example, I own an Apple iPhone. I've owned iPhones for as long as I can remember, but I'm grateful for other companies like Samsung and Google because they're always pushing the boundaries and therefore making Apple push the boundaries, making the iPhone better. There is no other company right now that is even close to DJI's levels in terms of drones. I mean, they've got the market gridlocked. They've got a drone in every single segment for every single person. And there's a reason they haven't been releasing any new products. It's because their drones, like the Mavic and the Phantom 4 Pro, which released two years ago, are still amongst the best on the market. Why would you put something out when your drones are still the best? I myself am pretty upset. I mean, I would love to be able to get my hands on some new DJI drones. They've definitely got some stuff cooped up inside of their laboratories, working on all of those new drones. But again, they're not releasing it because there's no one even pushing them. We need competition in this drone space. And I thought that Altel was going to be that competition for DJI, but having a quality product is only half of the battle. If you don't have a business model or a business strategy to get your product out in a timely fashion, then there may as well be no competition whatsoever. Anyway, guys, I'm sorry for the rant. I do hope we see the Evo soon, but I think that Altel has missed the mark. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.